Don't you just hate yourself? in the past. Well, hi, my name is Brian and welcome to Things I Hate. Today, we're going to be talking about my past self. Ah, there he is, hating on himself again. Exactly. So one year ago, I made a video called Things I Hate, Things I Hate, in which I explained why I didn't make videos anymore. And since it's been exactly one year, I thought it would be cool to share my thoughts about it one year later. Don't you just hate things I hate? No, no, I don't. This video just feels like Brian2022 didn't like his past self, which in my opinion is wrong. However, this is also true since after a while, I didn't like that this series wasn't sending a positive message, which is what I've tried to do since, like in the Things I Hate Valentine's video, which instead of showing hate, I spoke about 10 things I love. I had a bit of an issue with filming videos. Oh, but Brian, you do that all the time. Oh, but Brian, you do that all the time. Yeah, I used to have this issue, but now I don't have it anymore. It's quite easy for me to film videos now, but this didn't happen all the time. Those examples I showed only happened about 10 times and it was really annoying, but the rest of the time I was fine. But I never stopped filming videos. In fact, I filmed a lot, probably more than I ever did in the past few years, but I never released anything. I just didn't feel like it was worth watching or that it was interesting. It was mostly me sitting, talking to the camera, talking about what I was getting up to or me doing just random things. I am kind of in between. I wish I would have released this stuff, but at the same time, I'm glad because I don't think I would have been able to come back so strong to YouTube as I am now. Half of the videos on my channel are just gone. It's like if Thanos snapped. Well, not anymore. I am Iron Man. I fixed it all. Even if the editing's bad or it's a bit cringy, that is where I came from and I don't want to hide it. I'm quite busy now. I've got a life. I've got a kids. I've got a wife. <laughs> no, I wasn't. That was a lie. All I did was play games watch YouTube, some work but very little compared to now, and uni but it was already over when I was filming this video. So I didn't have a life, or kids, or a wife. Right now I'm working more than I ever have in my life and I'm so surprised that I've been able to keep up with this six months straight. Some of the videos I made are even 10 minutes long and if I had the same amount of time that I had when I was making that video, I could have made a video every single day. These videos don't bring me money but they bring me joy. This is still true. They do also bring me some stress because I'm a perfectionist so if I'm really watching the video last minute and I notice a small error, I have to fix it very, very quickly. A few weeks ago, on the train, I started writing the script of this video. It was a bus, Brian, not a train. Just thought since we're clearing everything up, I might as well have cleared that one up too. Liar! Look at that hair, much better than this. The clone always looks better than me in these videos. Oh, thanks. See? Oh my God, it's a light switch. <laughs> I'm staring at a light switch. How dare I reveal such a secret trick that I used for so many years? What secret? Oh, uh, that you're not real. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, he's right. I've written down so many video ideas. Thank you for writing these video ideas, Brian, from the past. I have now been able to use these for videos this year. Yeah, I gotta stop trying to recapture the magic of the original and move on. Now, this was a quote from Brooklyn Nine-Nine where the main character was trying to recreate an old moment, but it just wasn't working. The way I'm seeing it now, I can never recapture the magic of the original, but that doesn't mean I should give up and move on. For example, when I made the Spyro blindfolded video, it did remind me of when I used to make Spyro videos 10 years ago, but I wasn't trying to recreate anything. It felt like I was making something brand new and also paying homage to my past self. This doesn't mean I would never film a sketch video again. Back then it was a different time. It was a different era. Was I trying to say that sketches couldn't work nowadays? Because that's not true. Even Smosh is back. My idols, my inspiration, my favorite YouTubers. They were the reason why I started this. Shut up! It worked. <laughs> I have lots of ideas. I'd rather take my time with it than film a hundred bad episodes and film one good one. Well, you made many videos this year. Yeah. Well, do you think all of them are good? That's an interesting question. I know every video that I'm going to make this year isn't going to be amazing every time, but I'm making sure that I like what I'm making. Otherwise, you will never see it. However, I don't know about things I hate videos since, as I said in this video, there's not much I hate or dislike anymore. But let's not end this on a bad note. Let's end this on a good note, shall we? Ugh. Clone, come on, you can do so much better now, right? Oh, of course. Let me show you what I learned in Spain. Oh, really? You went as well? Yeah. I... Stop. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm not good that's at it. That's copyrighted. We need to be careful. Oh, oh, that's Did what? you forget what happened with the KSI video? No, 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 I know, I know. Do you want me to get copy straight again? But it wasn't my singing then. Oh no, it's also that. That was terrible. Terrible note to end on. I'm sorry. And also, I hate that song. It's so annoying to hear. I just don't like it. It's, it's overplayed. It's so... Wait a second. What did you say? What? Did you just say you hate the song? Yeah, so? So, there's still some things you hate. Oh, I guess you're right. 
I will see you in the next episode of Things I Hate, where I'll be talking about songs I hate. That was a good note.